Hey everybody, just another quick video to answer a couple questions that I got in a comment on one of my videos. So the first question was, what are the best armor sets for each stage? So real quick, I'm going to pull up my armor here. Just so at the bottom here, above gear rating, you can see gear level 1000. As you're pushing up through the ranks, you're going to want to try to always equip the highest level that you see. So if your inventory has gear level 700 and you have some sort of same boots that are gear level 800, you're going to want to equip those 800s because they will increase your base stats and will have higher stats overall, generally speaking. Best stats to look for in each piece of armor. So as you're pushing up, say you haven't beat Doom 100 yet or you're still not in Continent 2, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to focus on Lifesteal, as you can see on that one there. Lifesteal on that one. Extra HP percent. Those are the two main stats that you're going to want to look for in order to help you push further. And that's going to be normal, hell, and bane. Uh, no, normal, expert, and hell. Once you reach bane, you'll start getting one shot no matter how awesome your gear is. Unless you have that west title, which is commander's, the commander's title over here. Which this will enhance your HP by a lot. And it gives you the title, Commander's Pride, which as you can see up here, Commander gives an extra 900% HP. So it's a huge bump in HP. So if you do end up actually pushing to get that, then you might be able to focus on gear that'll allow you to get into, get through Bane, Debacle, and Doom without the concern of being one shot. At that point, obviously focus on extra HP percent and lifesteal. HP percent will probably be your main go-to, but lifesteal is also a good source of damage thanks to thanks to Blood Knight over here. So lifesteal adds to your damage, it'll help you push through monsters faster, help you push through creeps faster, and it'll help you defeat bosses faster as well. But if you're getting one shot at that point, you just want to focus on timing execute and timing your mercs, depending on where you are. Bane is going to be execute only. Debacle, you will need to time mercs as well. And I do have a video on that, obviously. I mean, you can check that out if you want to. Uh, the next question is, what are the best type of gems for armor and the same for weapons? So your weapon and your shield, as you can see here, I've got red in both of those just to add the base damage stat. That's your ideal gym for those two equipment slots. And then you've got your ring, which you'll put extra HP percent into. Same with your artifact. Now, most importantly, you'll see that I have some silver ones in just the regular defensive gear. And that's not necessary until you reach end game, until you're at second continent, which you'll need that attack speed for the scythe in order for the scythe to actually be optimal. So until you reach Continent 2, or Second Continent, however you prefer to refer to it as, you'll want to fill all of your gear with HP gems. Uh, just make sure you're, you're stacking those as much as possible. The more HP you have, the more you're going to live through big hits. Next up is Dragons. So Dragons was mentioned here, and, and what I'll say is... You can get dragons from the free draws. The thing with dragons is they're kind of a money pit. So if you plan on spending actual money on dragons, more power to you. I recommend if you're more of a free to play player, just don't really worry about dragons. They don't add a whole lot of bonuses unless you can spend enough money to start maxing them out, which is an insane amount of money. I think someone said that it costs upwards of like $10,000 to completely max out one Elder Dragon, which it's a lot of money and it's, it'll put out a lot of damage, that's for sure. But if you're more of a free-to-play player, I wouldn't worry about dragons. You can get some for free by watching ads every day and that's how I got mine. So I recommend definitely just going that route because I've got two Elder Dragons just from watching ads and getting free eggs from the ads. So that's what I recommend most as far as dragons goes is, is just do your daily ads and, and get your free dragon draw that way. And lastly, which element is the strongest? So fire will do the most damage to all creeps, no matter what the creep is. Fire will be your highest source of damage. When it comes to your ring, however, you'll want to go with Thunder because Thunder has a chance to stun the enemy. 
which can kind of save you in some moments where you don't want to get one shot or you're taking too much damage. And then as far as resilience against the majority of creeps, your best way to go always is going to be, as you can see on the top here, element resistance plus 9.5%. And if I go through a few of mine here, you'll see that that 9.2%. You'll see that that repeats here because element resistance adds your resistance to all elements. As you can see down at the bottom here, all of my elemental resistances are at 100%. And that's because I'm stacking that single element resistance because it resists all elements. So I definitely man it, I recommend focusing on that once elemental damage becomes a concern for you. Um, I would say that once you get level 1000 gear, that's when you should start worrying about recasting and trying to get the ideal stats on each piece of armor. Up until then, just push until you get to Doom 11. And then once you've got that level 1000 gear, you can recast that till your heart's content and then refine it until your heart's content to try to get the perfect piece of gear and that's what your goal is after you reach continent 2 or at least doom where you can start really trying to maximize your potential if you have any other questions as always just feel free to leave a comment and most comments i actually respond to i know that this particular comment asked if i would do a video on it so i figured i would go ahead and do a video for you um, but if you have any other questions i usually respond to them on youtube with a comment of my own to kind of at least give you a simple explanation as soon as I have the time to. I will be doing another video later today. I hope this helps you guys. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.